Good morning, kindergartners. Welcome back for math with me, Miss Harwood. For our counting warm up today, I'm going to hold up the numerals as we count by ones. As I hold up each number, make sure that you say that number nice and loud. Get ready. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. We're halfway there. Get ready to say the rest of them. Ready? 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Great job counting today, my friends. This weekend, my friend came to me asking for my help. She wanted me to help her write a bunch of different numbers on a couple of different signs for her job. So I need to write out four different numbers on these signs right here on my board. The first number is six. I know six is tricky, so remember when writing a six, we start with a line, then a loop. So we start with a line, then a hoop, and Mr. Six rolls a hoop. So a line and a loop. And Mr. Six rolls a hoop. See how loop and hoop rhyme? Very easy to mix those up. Do you guys see how I turn my pencil this way when writing a six? Make sure when you're writing your sixes, you're also checking that your loop is going the right way. The next number she asked me to write is an eight. This is really hard for my friend to write. So I told her that first you make an S. You do not wait. Go right back up and make an eight. As you're writing, make sure that you're taking your time, especially with the number eight and showing high quality work because you want other people to be able to read your writing, especially your numbers. The next number is 
a nine. I want you to think, remember, our six starts with the line, then a loop, but our nine goes a loop, then a line. And do you see how my loop goes this way? Make sure that when you make your loop, you're going the right way. So a loop and then a line. That's the way you make a nine. So we start with the line on the six, but we start with the loop on the line. My last number that my friend wanted me to write is a 13. When I say 13, I hear the word teen at the end, 13. That means this number is a T number, and I know that all T numbers start with a one. So when I'm writing 13, it starts with a one. Now, when I say 13, I hear at the beginning, 13. And I remember that three also starts with three. 13. This is a trick that helps me remember that 13 is a 1 and a 3 because I hear that at the beginning. So 13 is a 1 and a 3. 13. There we go. I did all my signs. Great job. Thank you for watching me as I made my signs. Now that we've started writing some of the numbers, Let's continue to practice writing our numerals from 1 to 30. Our learning target today is going to be, I can write my numbers from 1 to 30. We are only going to write to 30 together, but you can always try to see how high you can write your numbers after we finish our writing activity. That means that the materials you need today are paper and pencil. So if you need paper or pencil, go ahead and pause this video now and grab those materials so you can join in on this activity. Let's get to work writing out our numbers. As we write our numbers, I would like you to check your work to make sure that your numbers look like mine. We're going to start writing our numerals today at one and one is just a straight line down. Next, we're gonna write two. So we're gonna start at the top, make a candy cane, give it a shoe. That's the way you make a two. Make sure that you're writing the two and it looks like mine. So stop, look at your paper, check to make sure it looks like mine. If it does, we're all good to move on. The next number is three, which is Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way you make a three. Our next number is four. Straight line down and over, down once more. That's the way you make a four. Our next number is five. So that's a short neck, belly fat, Mr. Five wears a hat. After five, we have six, that tricky, tricky six. So first it's a line, then a loop. Mr. Six rolls a hoop. Make sure you start with that line at the top, then make your loop. Next number is seven, and that's line across, down from heaven. That's the way we make a seven. Pretty simple, kind of looks like our one, just with a little hat on top. Okay, our next number is eight. Eight starts with an S, so make an S. Do not wait, go right back up and make an eight. It's really important, especially with the number eight, that we take our time to show some high quality work. Our next number is a nine. Make sure we do a loop, then a line. That's the way you make a nine. So a loop, then a line. 
Our last number for this group is a 10, and a 10 is a 1 and a 0. A 10 is just a group of 10 ones. We have our 10. Now our next group is going to be our teen numbers. And remember, all of our teen numbers start with the number 1. So the next number that comes after 10 is 11. 11 is a 1 and a 1 put together. There's our 11. So we have 11, 12. 12 is a 1, then a 2. Do you see how I have a pattern here? It goes 1 and 1, 1 and 2. For 13, it's going to go 1 and 3. I always found that pattern was really helpful when trying to remember how to write the teen numbers. So we have 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 is a 1 and a 4. Make sure you're checking to see if your numbers look like mine. You don't want to have any backwards twos or any backward threes. You want to make sure all of your numbers are looking the right way. So we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 is a 1 and a 5. And we have 16, 1 and 6. 17, 1 and 7. Now we have 18, which is a 1 and an 8. I'm going to take my time, go really slow, making that S and going right back up. Nice. Now we have 19, which is a 1 and a 9. All right, there are all my teen numbers. So what's the next number that comes after 19? 20. And when we say 20, we're going to start our family of 20s. And all of our family, all of the numbers in our family of 20s start with a 2. So we have a 2 and a 0. That makes 20. 20. So ne our next number is 21. When we make 21, we go a 2 and a 1. Anytime you hear that word 20, that means we start a number with a 2. So we have a 2 and a 1. And for 22, we have 20 and then a 2. 22. Next, we have 23. So 20 a two for our 23. 23. Do you guys see the pattern for our families of 20s? We have a two and a one, two and a two, two and a three. What's 24 going to be? A two and a four. Great job. Now we're going to do 25. Two for 20. Five for the five we hear. We have 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we have a 26. Two and a six makes 26. Then we have 27. And that's a two and a seven. Our next number is going to be 28. Really nice and slow on that eight. Oh, that's a nice high quality eight. I like that one. Okay, we have 28, 29. 29. What number comes after 29? We have 26, 27, 28, 29. 30. And the way we write 30 is a 3 and a 0. That's the way you make 30 is a 3 and a 0. Now that we've written, written all of our numbers from 1 all the way to 30, I want you to stop, pause this video, 
look at every single one of your numbers and fix them if they don't look just like mine. After you've checked all of your work, it's now gonna be your turn for your assignment. What you will need to do for your assignment today is to write your numbers from one to 30 all again without my help. I'm also going to challenge you to write past 30 and see if you can write all of your numbers from one all the way to 100. Let's see how many of you can write your numbers all the way to 100. After you've finished writing your numbers on your own again, you're going to take a picture and send that picture to your teacher so they can see how, just how well you've been doing with writing all of your numbers. We love seeing all of your hard work that you've been doing in math. So go ahead, get started on writing those numbers now, and I'll see you later. Bye.